Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the G.I. Joe Retaliation Conrad Duke Hauser, aka Ultimate Duke, from the G.I. Joe Retaliation 3.5 wave. This wave was right at the tail end of the line when they decided to pull out all the stops, give us, ex us collectors exactly what we wanted because they were afraid of losing us, basically. Uh, the stales were not that great. Unfortunately, it was a little too much, too, too, too little, too late. Because by the time this uh, this wave was released, retail chains had already lost their uh, their faith in the in the in the line and didn't order it. So that's why it never should. This wave never showed up at Walmart or Target. Instead, uh, it just showed up at liquidation liquidation stores like Five Below which is where I got mine, and Ollie's, I believe, um, places like that. Um, it was a little tough to find. They're great figures, which is why the prices pretty much skyrocket for these things on the aftermarket now, unfortunately. Uh, here he is in the packaging. He is a blister carded figure. You can see most of his accessories um, through the bubble, although some of it is obscured by the... Uh, by the package artwork. Um, flipping it over, you've got some uh, product shots with Duke in various poses, some using some of his gear. Up top there, it says uh, Conrad Duke Hauser. Um, uses an, ar an aerial attack drone to track down evil Cobra forces. The drone spots the enemy and Duke loads up with a full arsenal of weapons to launch an attack. They're not kidding. Um, he's got a load of weapons. <laughs> More than a single soldier could carry. <laughs> but anyhow, um, that's about it for the packaging. Let's have a look at the figure himself. Here he is. Um, but first and foremost, we are going to have a look at those accessories that I flashed just a second ago. Starting off with his attack drone. Um, this is as near as I can tell, the same exact mold as the one that came with the uh, Data Viper. Um, right down to the gears on the wings. I think the wings are flipped on the Data Viper. However, like with the uh, the swept area on the inside, I think. I could be wrong. Um, but anyhow, clearly has different uh, painted details on here, like the American flag. And it is a nice touch that the uh, stars always come before the stripes because these colors never run. Um, all in all, very nice piece. I, I do really like this thing. And as with the Data Viper, you can pop these um, guns off. They have handles so they can be used as standalone pistols, which is still very cool. Very cool. Um, it also has a peg here, so you can wear this on his back for storage. And since he doesn't actually come with a backpack, um, nothing stopping you from doing that. Um, here he has a RPG or bazooka or whatever you'd like to call it. Nice sculpt on that. He has one knife here, another knife on his uh, vest. We'll have a look at that in a second. Here's this weapon here. This one here. Nice sculpt on all of these. And I really do like the fact that it came with all of these. Because he also has a uh, alternate head, which we'll have a look at in a second. And the alternate head allows you to army build this guy. Not to mention, you could swap, put any head on this guy, really, to make a, a brand new trooper. Because his loadout, I mean, his, his, he looks like a modern U.S. military um, character. So, if you wanted modern U.S. military figures in your collection, this guy is an easy choice for that. And just a simple head swap would allow you to army build quite easy. And here's this one. Speaking of which, let's take his head off. 
The alternate head he comes with is this head here, which is a generic Cobra Trooper head. So you can see the comparison here is with the original release of the Cobra Trooper. It's clearly different. However, the Duke version is more film accurate, which is awesome in its own right. Both figures are great, but but if, you, if you're looking for film accuracy, this is the one you want to go with. Let's get Duke's head back on here. There you go. He also has this removable helmet, which fits pretty snugly around his ears, so I gotta lift to get it up off of there. Pretty cool. And as promised, here's his second knife in here. Fits pretty snugly in the back holster there small blade the vest can come off and he does have uh, some camo pattern underneath there however it's not really as nicely detailed as uh, the rest of them I don't think very nice sculpt and design on this guy American flag there on his uh, on his arm. Very nice looking figure. Um, his head is on a ball joint, as you saw, can do a full 360, as well as not not too much up, but can look down slightly and uh, kind of tilt from side to side, but not not really not really noticeable enough. Um, arms will do a full 360. They go up about that high. Nothing at the bicep. Um, arms can flatten out, bend almost 90 degrees, rotate full 360. Wrists, full 360 degrees. There is a hinge here. I believe this one, I believe this one bends up and down. Or is this one in and out? Nope, nope, that one's in and out. My bad. So it does bend in and out. He does have an ab crunch, or a, a diaphragm joint, I should say. Um, it is a little hindered by his vest, but you can get it. You can get it work if you just work at it a little bit. Um, this wrist, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. This wrist bends up and down to help him hold his weapons more appropriately. There you go. His legs kick out about that far, back about that far, do the splits about like that, double jointed knees, enable him to kick his heel back about that far. Ankles, he can point his toes down almost all the, just about all the way, point them up slightly. Um, they are hindered by the uh, top cuff of his pants and he does have a rocker joint here. So same, same articulation as the uh, G.I. Joe Trooper I just finished reviewing. Um, last but not least, he also comes with this figure stand, which is the same for all the 3.5 uh, wave figures. Um, it's just a dog tag shape, single foot peg. Nothing on here that says Duke or any of the uh, other characters' names. Um, 2009 Hasbro, copyright on the bottom. Um, all in all, I think he's a great figure. I really, really do. I understand why he is so pricey. Because he comes with a ton of weapons, and his sculpt and articulation is just really good. Um, here he is next to a vintage G.I. Joe figure, Snake Eyes. A vintage collection Star Wars figure, Luke. A Boss Fight Studio Blank. A Marvel Universe Captain America. And a Master Chief. All of which were 118th scale. So all in all, I have to say, I do recommend this figure. If you can find them at a reasonable price. Uh, I think last I checked, um, a carded figure for Duke 
uh, went for $80 on eBay. Yeah, I think that's a little too high. Um, but again, if people are paying that, then that's what they're paying. Uh, um, that's what he's going to sell for. I, I think he's a great figure, though. Um, if you need him for your collection and you are willing to pay that much for him, I don't think you'll be disappointed once you get him because it's not like he's a lackluster figure. He he's great. I mean, great sculpt, great paint, uh, great articulation, um, great accessories. He is a legitimate army builder. And uh, really, there, there's nothing, there, there isn't too much good, good things I can say about this guy. Um, if you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. Uh, click that notification bell up in the top corner uh, to make sure you don't miss any of my other videos when I post them. Um, I, I review just about everything I can get my hands on that's 118th scale. So be sure to check out my channel for other content besides G.I. Joe. And if G.I. Joe is your bag, I've still got quite a few videos left to come. Not to mention a, a pretty sizable library at this point of other G.I. Joe videos that you can watch as well. Um, keep a lookout for more retaliation figures because they are on the way. Um, this has been AV. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.